Thank you for listening to another episode of the Upstate Golf Guys podcast, where 518 Golf's the Kate. We hope you enjoy. studio feels like it has been forever i have my co-host back with me mikey what up kid what up motherfucker oh not much oh wait uh i thought you were leaving me officially going to the pp <laughs> going to the dark side and uh thought i was losing a co-host it, it, it was it, it it was thrown out there oh that was so funny and there i was got a big, there was a big trade i heard <laughs> I got you Bubs, back. Bubs was telling me he was like, "Yo, dude, they want you, man. They want we're you. Gonna trade. Trade, we're gonna trade Steve, Big Steve, for me." The GM, the like- GMs were talking. <laughs> the GMs were talking. It was, it was in the talks. But we got my my homeboy Mikey back, and we're back in studio. So excited about this episode. Um, and we are supposed to have our other co-host, RGB. With me. RGB. Uh, he's here. He's here. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Don't worry. He'll come on mid-episode. We'll be sending him <laughs> a link in about 25 minutes. Uh, he'll be joining, joining us saying, dude, I had the phone on me and everything. I swear. Uh, I, I swear. I, I, I was going to wake up. But but That's what happens just, you when know, you're cooking too much, man? Cooking too much. The dude's golfing eight days a week. Uh, God. Podcasting hilarious. 10. But anyways, I have a really exciting episode. We have a lot to talk about. We're in the we're in the uh, heat of things, man. Literally, yeah, yeah. Uh, no no pun intended. It's been hot. So we're in the middle of summer and golf Has, is hasn't cooking. rained on me my, my last couple of rounds. So, yeah, that's awesome, man. That's awesome. How's life been? I feel like I haven't hung out with you in a while. It's been uh, working. Yeah, I know. You're funny. Working. You you send me the uh, you send me the um, emoji of you and an old man in a wheelchair all the time. And yeah, you, uh, my, uh, our listeners, Mikey builds pools for Concord and re- just rebuilds and I lasted one day with these guys. I was in between uh, working with my dad because things were slow at, at the store. This was about 15 years ago, 15, 20 years ago, at least, man, May, early 2000s. And uh, yeah, it was probably about 15. My dad was joking around, actually, too. He said, why don't you go out there and work, work out there with your buddies out there building pools? He said, uh, he, no, said that ain't he said, no, he, he did. I went, I said, oh, you know what? Let me call up J- Jimmy and see if he needs help. So he said, actually, I do. I need help digging a trench. So so I so saw one day I lasted. That was it, man. My hands were hurting worse than they've ever hurt before. And these guys were tossing concrete all day long. Um, yeah, it, it's. I, I think the day that you were working with us, it, it was one of the toughest days that we do. It's trenching. Yeah, and the heat, the heat was. Uh, it was like 110 degrees. You guys work right, whether it's pouring rain and 50 degrees, freezing cold. Nope. Uh, or you work and it's the humid, hot midsummer. You don't work, you don't get paid. Oh man, these guys! And if you don't get paid, you ain't golfing. You ain't eating. You ain't. Well, you ain't <laughs> eating, but you ain't. What's the, what's number two after eating? Golfing. That's right. That's right. We and we need to. When I do my budget, one of the uh, one of the first things I do is budget my golf every week. Is how much am I spending? Dabs, uh, groceries, and, and then <laughs> and golf, golf. Yep. with it with a golf week <laughs> tour. Um, with a golf week tour, it's a little pricey, but it's worth it for me. I love it. I love being part of it. But yeah, it's literally part of my weekly budget. I like it because it's it, it brings you to so many different courses. Yeah, like there, I I got the that fucking thing full of balls. Yeah, and and it's and it's 
all from us all, traveling all from going to courses that was with the with the with the golf week tour yeah man um and you're joining us for the first time uh, in a couple of weeks yeah, yeah to one nice. of our favorites yep mount anthony yeah yeah let's tell the raw recommendation let's uh retell um the hot dog store i'm gonna retell it um to listeners so they don't have to go back and listen real quick so do not listen most beautiful golf course and views uh in bennington vermont but don't order a hot dog at the time don't get bamboozled people <laughs> don't do it don't do it so when you're getting a hot dog, you're getting a whole fucking meal package. Right. And it was so when we got to the counter, usually I, I call up. Or I was I was like the eighth hole and I called up. Uh, I said, hey, can we get a couple dogs ready for us? And I go up and it was like it was uh, it was so we were two dogs each. That's what it was. I said, I, we need four dogs total. And I go and it was fifty six dollars. I said, what the fuck? <laughs> I said, I got this, Mike. Don't worry. Mike, Mike, I'll cover. I'll cover lunch, brother. Would you get a hot dog cart? <laughs> so, so this, <laughs> dude, I was dying. So I, so, so we're so with the like little explanation, small explanation. Uh, it was fourteen dollars per hot dog meal. She comes out with four boxes, not not four hot dogs, and in each box there was a hot dog, there was chips, there was a big giant pickle um and it was a big old hot dog too so for the 14 dollars per hot dog it was uh, worth it it was worth it It, it was, was a nice lunch but i didn't eat two of them but I, if i known it was a whole meal package i wouldn't have gotten two 100 percent. i agree because the hot dogs she were the size me. of two anyways <laughs> right and when i called her and i said can i get four dogs were coming up at the turn it would have been nice yeah. if she was like hey uh we only serve them as like meals, meals. when i put them in they're 14 dollars yeah, that do you only want one instead of you know bamboozled yeah dude so <laughs> the that's a total buyer beware yeah total separate ball game if you're going in to get dogs but the i'm looking forward to golfing over there uh, i can't wait for the course bro and they've we done didn't, we didn't play it last year no and i've been following them on instagram they brought new sand in it's some nice white sand traps um it looks really 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 pretty i'm looking forward to getting over there at mount anthony i'm just in southern vermont super super right on the side of the mountain yeah buddy right by the monument yeah buddy so we have an exciting episode coming we have 52 sundays i've been trying to get these guys on for a while now i've been i kind of linked up with them uh through raj through um pitch yeah and there he's with the legends crew they're actually 52 sundays is the new sponsor is the uh, official sponsor for legends and they have some pretty pretty dope gear i don't know if you've got on and checked out yeah i checked them out i was following them for a little while yeah they got some really good quality merch um so those boys from cali will be joining them joining us shortly Uh, i'm really excited about that for sure man but mikey i got some big news man we're growing we're growing mikey doesn't follow mikey doesn't follow the numbers I don't, yeah i don't do the numbers he man. doesn't follow the numbers but man our last five six seven epi- episodes we have we have some uh, fans and we have some followers because i could tell they're repeat listeners and then um the new the new listeners we get from our guests uh they continue to listen uh, I I shout out Jeremy, one of our, our big fans, and uh, he's in our office building. He comes in every day and he points to his headphones, saying he's listening to us. And <laughs> he's one of he's one of my uh, boys, and we always talk golf. And uh, he's he's a cool dude, man. So shout out Jeremy. He's gonna be buying some of our merch and everything. So nice. yeah, cool dude. But uh, thanks, kid. Absolutely, nice. thanks for we appreciate any support we get. But yeah, man, we're um we're hitting some milestones with our listens buddy cool we're really we're doing cool. well i know you don't really care too much about the listens you were never nah, in I, it for the I, listens i don't like following it yeah it's pressure but puts pressure every, every, on once in. every once in a while you check in on it at the beginning at the beginning of this thing i really got frustrated and then i got to a point where i didn't give a shit and we just got together and we talked and we kind of just uh we we did our thing and uh let the listeners sometimes if you chase the numbers you're now, gonna go fucking mad yeah dude. And, and and now you know what it's going nuts we're getting i'm getting putters sent to me left and right getting 
shoes sent to me left and right. Um, Shout out to Lombardi. I have a golf outfit for every Sunday of the month, literally, that's been sent to me from uh, awesome awesome people uh, that we've had on the podcast so you know what i don't care if we get zero listens um we're meeting awesome people in the golf world and we're getting some really cool merch along the way we really yeah. are so that leads me to this brother that leads me to this i have to i have to show the fans everyone knows that's been following me on instagram uh, i've been giving lombardi all the praise as he should the dude is just, uh, he's trying to grow the he's a game. fucking one of a kind, dude. He's, he's try- awesome. He's trying to grow the game of golf to a T. Um, one getting, putter at a time. One putter at a time. <laughs> um, he's got a kid's, he's got a kid's line. Uh, he's got a idea to have the kids keep their head, but we exchange the, um, the shaft. No. Yep. You know, long as they grow, yep. we'll just exchange the shaft out. Shaft it's my boy good. over there at Lombardi Putters. And you have to look at this custom. Mikey, check this, check this fucking thing out, dude. Check this thing out. Hold on. Hold on a second. First of all, I needed a little more weight. So we went with a hundred gram mat um shaft. Okay. But look at this. I see that. I'm gonna show, show the camera. Show the camera, dude. Do you see the extra little little uh thing? Come on, pu- get it in there. See what he punched on there? There you go. That's right. Laser, that laser logo. engraved, nice painted oh, 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 oh. colors. So it's fucking dope, dude. It's it's a, I went with a mallet. Um tried the blade. Honestly, um, I love the look of the Umbria. It is absolutely beautiful. Uh, I'm going to keep it. Uh, I'm not going to give it away. I'm going to hold it somewhere special to my heart because Paul was the first gift Paul gave me. Um, but I can't hit it for shit, Paul. I'm not going <laughs> to lie. I'm going to be 100% honest. I've always been a mallet guy. Um, but I cannot hit a blade. Yeah, he, he hooked me up with, with the red one. Yep, the 1985. Because I wanted to try a blade. And I figured it out real quick that I'm not a blade person. Dude. So we went with a mallet. Um, and I haven't hit it yet. But I could tell you by the looks of it and the feel in my hand. I tested it out. Fucking thing feels great, dude. It's it's sharp. I'm showing it off right now in the camera. That's why I'm not talking. But yeah, it's it's just a beaut. My Odyssey White Hot's kind of sim- uh, similar to that. My um, and, and it feels impeccable. My Odyssey that I just picked up for four hundred bucks is officially for sale, and I think Scrounge is is actually uh, he already put his hand up. He loves that. I'm giving him a really nice really? discount. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm officially, officially, officially a Lombardi guy. Uh, you won't see me putting with any other putter, but but a, and a Lombardi. Uh, I love it. I absolutely love it. Feels so good. Putter's all about feel, man. It doesn't matter. You hear stories of uh, guys using putters from 1937 that that the their grandfather used. Well, I noticed when I when I tried the blade, it really is. I, I've been with my white hot for what four years now i'm so used to it the the weight of it the feel the square head yeah yeah uh i'm really dude um we have a round tomorrow he he hit that fucking thing out of Uh, the park bro it's 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 beautiful paulie good job kid so I talked to Paulie. paul so so now this leads to the story so paulie likes to do little game shows and little trivias and if you follow him on Instagram, so and he's got one hell of a voice. He was in a cover band, um, and he so he he was singing. Uh, he put a, he started singing. He likes singing. I'll tell you what. He, a lot of his a lot of his posts is Paulie singing, listening to uh, old school jams. So he's a, he's a, he's, he's a awesome. he's a Metallic. He's, he's a awesome. he's a rock and roll guy. So, anyways, 
he he had I see a post. You know me, Mikey. You know me. Always on my phone. I know. I get yelled at from you. Are you? I get yelled at from my dad, wife, from my dad, wife, from uh, literally everybody, my whole yeah. family. Aunt, put the phone down. Aunt, put the fucking phone down. My dad. Aunt, put the phone down. Who some, you ta- some customers, I'm yeah, sure. No, come right. They, they all Aunt, put, put the, the phone, phone down. down. Right. I'm constantly, <laughs> constantly. I'm always on the thing. But now with this new um, side thing, I'm even on it more, bro. I'm networking, man. I'm networking and talking to my my peeps. I'm talking to Paulie. I'm talking to Bob from Squares. Uh, I'm talking to uh, this business, man. I'm cooking for us. It's big business. Uh, It's awesome. So I was where I was going back. I'm glad you like it because I I fucking hate it. I want to go back to the Lombardi. (laughs) I got to go back. I'm getting sidetracked. I got to go back to the Lombardi store. So go for it. So I'm on my phone all the time. So all of a sudden I get a I get a notification. Ding Lombardi. First person to guess this song gets a putter. Thank God I used to just smoke dubs and be depressed and listen to some depressing alternative rock and roll and uh music in the late 90s early 2000s back, because back when you were dating amy yeah no. <laughs> right so all those depressed times and uh i nailed it right off the bat with between me being on the phone constantly and uh knowing the song off the bat i won a putter uh, and i said here's the, here's where this story goes on i said uh i said you know what paulie's done enough for me i won fair and square but now that I'm getting this custom, we have to get a custom in Mikey's hands, and Mikey needs himself a mallet. So I said, I want a fair and square putter, so but I want to pass it off to my partner, Mikey. So we're getting Mikey a mallet. Nice. He's hooking Mikey up. He sent me the video of the putter Mikey is getting. It's actually in the mail and it's on the way here mikey will be doing a box opening for the putter when he gets it i'm stoked dude. but here's a side twist to this story i get like i get messages all day long from paulie and their their uh their stamp receipts from the uh, postage that that something's in the mail and now i i paid for my custom i said paulie I said, I don't want this custom unless I could pay for it. I said, I'm a business guy. I said, I never look for freebies. Uh, I want to, especially with what you're doing, I want you to make money on this thing. So, but literally I get these notifications from Paulie that I'm getting these, that they're from the postage office. They're the pictures that, uh, that, that I have another package on the way. So I have like three putters from this dude. And I'm like, what's this? And he's like, no, man. He's like, he's like, I'm just saying it in his voice. He texted it to me. He's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, no, man. He's like, you won fair and square, a putter. I was like, well, what do you mean? I was like, I give him giving that putter to Mikey, though. I thought he's like, yeah, we're getting, we're getting, we're hooking Mikey up with a mallet. <laughs> we're getting hooking up great. and we're hooking you up with the pizza, with the Lombardi pizza, which is a plastic. He knows I can't hit a fucking plastic uh, blade. <laughs> So he knows I'm going to be giving that thing away and spreading the love of Lombardi uh, and, and, you know, the golf week tour. So I'm going to be giving that away um, either at the I'm going to be giving that away at the golf week. Um, the tournament that we are sponsoring the uh, two day major, I'm going to give it away there or the ranch. The, the John Marizio, um, the JPM, you know. JPM Marizio, yeah, the tournament. I got side. I have like a which, million things. Which, which uh, also, you, you there, there's a big change on that as well. Yeah, right? the day change. Oh, I have some big news about that. Should we, should we, should we break the news about the JPM Marizio right now? So, all right, go for it. Okay. So, number one, it got changed. It was a little flubber. I caught. So, this all started with uh, uh, Tracy. She always does the food end. And I do the golf end. So um, early on in the season, I wanted to bring back the tournament to the Great Freer Park now that the construction is done over there. So we've the last couple of years, we did it over um, 
over at uh, Fairways at, or not Fairways at Half Moon. Um, Van Patten. Van Patten. Beautiful course. Love it over there. But they're just a little pricey for what my people and John Marizio's people like. We're going to bring the cost back down a little bit. Um, try to keep it yeah, I think at Uncle the hundred dollars. Uncle John would have said, "What are you doing? What Go are you back doing?" To Fair Park. Yeah, let's keep it. Let's keep it a little cheaper. Uh, we're gonna keep it simple. But I mean, on, besides that, Fair Park is it's home. It's home, and it's absolutely fucking beautiful. It's beautiful. So, anyways, um, last week Tracy called me. She said, "Let's get everything now that now that the tournament, now that we're into the summer and um, into the swing of things." She said, "Let's let's make sure everything is uh, set in stone, so you get get the golf thing working, and I'll get the food thing working." So she called up. Um, she called up for your park food and to get some prices, and they were like, um, "We have a huge tournament." with like 140 people for that day uh are you sure it's that date of the 28th so i'm like so Tr- tracy panics all the time she gets nervous um she's a marizio we all get nervous we're nervous people um so well it's a growing growing an event dude yeah it's huge so, it's getting big so she got nervous and she didn't have to call right now and figure this out so i called josh over at fear park and um the day was mixed up basically long story short long story short he said how the hell do i have you on for october 5th so you know what the way john is or the way the marizio family is i uh and john always was i said tracy this is happening for a reason so i know for a fact i told her Told him the 28th of September. How the hell can it go to a next month? I guarantee you there's a reason for this. Whether it's going to be it's going to be a washout on the 28th. Okay. And their tournament's going to suck. It's going to maybe be windy. Just shitty weather. There's a reason for it. And we're going to get a beautiful day in that first Saturday in October. You better hope so. Um, there's a there's a reason that you day better hope so. It, it better not mush us the other <laughs> other way, dude. <laughs> no, I'm telling you. Go to you. October 5th and you got fucking snow out on the fairway. No, no, no. He's, <laughs> you want to know one thing? We're eating snow cones. Let me ask you something. What's one thing about every year that we leave? leave that we, they go, I, Dude, we're we're always playing until mid-November. No, right? but do we get a beautiful day for the JPM or Zero? Don't we always Usually. get a beautiful, beautiful day? Yeah. Wait, no. Dude, last year, last week, last year, blah, last year, Literally, it was supposed to rain. It was eighty percent all day. It was listen, no, it was it was, and it literally didn't rain a drop. I don't know how these clouds missed us. It was insane, dude. Absolutely fucking insane. I was looking at the radar. Now, the, it was in the one year we played dude, at Dutch Haven. It was fucking freezing. Okay, it was because we were playing in December. No, we were playing like in <laughs> no. We were playing in late October, and 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 it, it, it was we were just kind of like learning the thing. We had the, our dates wrong, you know. We're we're kind of learning like the, the place was tough. Yeah, the first year that was you remember they ran out of cards. Yeah. <laughs> oh they, my god! They, they tried putting somebody on a fucking work working cart. Holy shit, dude! I'm crying right now. That was so funny. So, anyways, we left there ASAP. I mean, the reason we went with Dutch Haven number one is that was Do- John's That's, home course. He got yeah. it for he got it for thirteen dollars around. <laughs> um, he loved it over there, but yeah, the place was a shithole. Um, I don't even. I haven't played there since. I haven't either. I mean it too funny. It, it's there's too, no too challenge funny. to the chorus. But anyways, yo, last year, last year I remember looking at the weather, okay? There was fucking storms in Saratoga. There were storms in Lake George, dude. I'm telling you, surrounding us. There were storms in Albany. There were storms everywhere but Clifton Park over us and well, that was I always got boy, a picture that comes up and I'm wearing a winter hat. All right, it's cold. We, we were bundled up, but it don't. But it don't rain on us. The, the wife's, the so. wife's, the wife's dad, Pete. Is that his name? Yeah. 
Yeah, he was. He, we were all bundled up, dude. Yeah, we Wearing have. Hats. Listen, we don't give a fuck. We have a good crew now. Um, we lost Tony, but I like that. We 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 got we got pissed. We is, lost is, one, but we right. gained an awesome. Is Tony one. even playing this yeah, year? Yeah, of course he is. He's, well, he didn't last year because he's a victory. Oh, he's good to go now. He's back. I played with him already. This he's back hundred percent, and he's got his own. He's got his own uh, group already. He said he's in. We lost Tony, but he, it, so we lost Tony, but we gained a group out of it. So um, who's he playing with now? His work people. He lost. Ah, uh, his work piece. Yeah, uh, he left his family he better not, for his he, work he, he, better, he better not be shaving strokes. Yeah. No, he's yeah. one thing about the Mercios is we're he, all honest people, brother. <laughs> <laughs> we're all honest. He can't win anyways. You're right. Neither can we. So we're going to get a lot of golf week people <laughs> this, this year. Uh, Adam... Cahill and company is going to be coming back to defend his championship. Well, yeah, defend his championship. I believe he's going to lose. Yeah, he, I think they're losing um, one. I don't, Tommy, right? I don't know if he's... No, I, Tommy will play. play he's okay. He's, he'll be... I, no, I, I don't I think Ian's going to be in it. I haven't seen him year. since the Cape, dude. Is that dude alive? <laughs> Tommy, Hollywood, <laughs> you out there? For real, dude. My boy. Yo, um, yo. Hello? 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 Um... Yeah, we miss you, Tom. We really do. So we're here in studio on a Friday night, and this is fun. We're kind of out of... Uh, I know Mikey has work in the morning because yeah. he works on Saturdays, but I'm kind of uh, feeling good right now. I don't have work tomorrow. We're golfing all Eat weekend. Half a pound of shrooms. <laughs> uh, <laughs> listen, I do the micro dosing thing. Yeah, you know, I'm, feeling, I'm hitting, hitting the spot right now. Macro dosing. <laughs> macro. It's hitting the spot after dinner. I always take it uh, as like a little vitamin. If you do your research right now, a little tiny bit of the micro dosing. Is actually Get good your for the mind. Syllabin in you. It's actually good for your brain, brother. It's good if you could know. If you notice, I'm speaking well tonight. Uh, yeah, you, <laughs> yeah, you, you are. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness! We wait, Roger. We got to check in on Roger. Roger, ain't let's go. It, bro. He's he's gone. Gone. He's, he's, should we should we send him a message, Dude, Mikey? Send him a message. Like, call him. Call him. Let's call him like, on air right now. Nah, no, I'm I, not calling him. Call him. Come on, FaceTime on air, please. We have to. This will be great. We got to wake him up. Hello. So his, his schedule is upside down. He goes into work at um, about 2, 3 in the morning. Right. Uh, so he can go golf for a 7, 8 a.m. tea time. And now he's snoring. He is out like a light. Call him up. Snoozy. Roger. RGB. Call him. Come on, we're waiting. We're waiting. All right. Anyways, where the fuck is he? He's, yeah, he's Mikey's him. slow with everything. Looking looking up phone numbers, especially because he's got a library back from like 1986. People he For ain't real. he ain't fucking calling. You ain't calling any of them people that you fucking used to go to fucking hardcore shows with. We're calling them. Hello? 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 RGB? All right. RGB ain't answering, but I know who is going to be answering is our boys over there at um, 52 Sundays. We got a time time change, so it's only... Uh, it's only dinner time over there. They're probably just getting Six done with o'clock. dinner and ready to ready to jump on with us i'm excited i'm excited for that brother yeah yeah hell yeah man all right well i'm gonna pause you and we're gonna go to a short intermission i don't think that stuff started yet i think we're all right
right, we are back after that short break. Before we get 52 Sundays on, um, I totally, totally, totally forgot to do our Cape Cod course of the week, Mikey. That fucking shrooms, dude. <laughs> <laughs> has nothing to do with it's, it, brother. It's we just, just that micro, dude. <laughs> <laughs> We're having a fun, good talk, That's and sometimes it, it gets, sometimes the schedule, uh, sometimes Bayberry Hills, anyways. Yes, it gets away from us. So, our Cape Cod course of the week is Bayberry Hills. Check it out. Bayberry Hills Golf Course in Yartmouth, Cape Cod. Bayberry Hills is a pristine golf course located in West Yarmouth. The layout includes 27 holes, a red and a white 18, and a blue course that is their Lynx course. Championship tees allowing the course to be played at 7,200 yards, and the facility offers the ultimate golfing experience. The Upstate Golf Guys enjoyed this course last fall, but we would love to play it in nicer conditions when the wind wasn't whipping and the sun is shining. Every course, the three of us will get linked up with a Cape Cod local, but this local was truly special. We enjoyed Rob. Say hi, Rob. We couldn't have asked for a cooler guy to get linked up with at the wonderful Bayberry Links in Yarmouth, Cape Cod. <laughs> Robbie! <laughs> Rob. Oh, that uh, fucking trip was epic, dude. All right, so we have to get into our the Rob story real quick. All right, so Bayberry Hills, A plus course. I mean, absolutely beautiful, awesome. beautiful, beautiful. Awesome. From from literally T to green, um, everything was perfect. Everything from really was. the greens were rolling. I remember undulation um, throughout the fairways as well. But pace of play weirdest thing I've ever heard on a golf course. And you guys tell me if you've ever heard of this. Um, and it's not it's I could I'll get to the one reason why I could have thought of. But it's not it has nothing to do with that. We're lined up. Um, ready to tee off. Three of us are always goes on these Cape Cod trips. Mikey uh, Scrounge and I. Um, and so we're always paired up with a solo, right, Mikey? Mm-hmm. We always get occasionally, singles. occasionally we get, we get stuck with somebody. Which they're most of the time they're knuckleheads. No, I'm just kidding. Mm-hmm. They're they're actually a lot of them. We get some really fun stories. We and might cry about it at first, but they're they're they end usually up being awesome. a good guy. Usually, so we're uh, ready to tee off. Uh, the starter goes. Uh, you guys are playing with a single. Uh, his name's Rob. So I was like, great, you know. So Mikey, uh, for a change, for a change. Well, well first you got to tell Wait, the, the single that they wanted to put with us wanted to walk. Right. I'm getting to that, Mikey. Can I get to the fucking <laughs> story? Come on. Can I talk? Spit it out. Okay. So for a change, number one, for a change, I had a car to myself, dude. <laughs> I was happy. I was like, I had my shit all spread out, Mikey. I had, I was using all four fucking, I was using all four uh, uh, cup holders. I was using both sides. He was of the man pet. spreading. I, I was feeling good, dude. He was man spreading in the cart, bro. I was feeling, <laughs> I was feeling amazing uh, at this point. Our trip had just started. It was day one of, of three uh, awesome uh, courses. We're ready to play out at the Cape. So it was day one. And uh, Mikey's riding with Brad, and I have a car to myself for once. And uh, all of a sudden, the, the starter, in, firm, in a firm way, you know, some starters are awesome. <laughs> I love most starters. You know, the shout out, they have a tough job dealing with knuckleheads and assholes like Mikey and I. Um, but th- come on, this guy was this guy was a little uh, too much of a, you know, I'm a I'm a I control things type deal, right, Mike? Do you remember? It, dude, I'm on vacation. Oh uh, me! Uh, uh, oh, you're you're going right to my blow up. <laughs> you're going right to my blow up. Yeah. Are you thinking yeah. about my blow up? So okay, with the <laughs> yeah. So wait, so it's so he he uh, says, all right, this guy's gonna walk, <laughs> or, or he wanted to walk, and he ends up pairing you with him. So, so. <laughs> First of all, I have my shit all spread out. Let's go back. <laughs> I have my shit all spread out, okay? And 
um they, they just, so all of a sudden yeah like six blunts rolled up everyone knows i'm a, I, I like to partake with my pitch pot and puff boys so anyways uh i have everything laid out and i can't can't, can't get to the story mike i can't get to it so uh the starter comes up to me and he goes you're going to have a partner in your cart today. I'm like, what? <laughs> like, <laughs> complete, complete stranger, <laughs> number one. He's just jumping in your cart. Dude. Just jumping in my <laughs> cart, in my boss base. All of a sudden, he's like, he's like, yeah, we don't allow walkers on this course. I'm like, what? And, and Rob wanted to walk. Yeah, he was the like, course. he's like a tall dude um probably something he likes to do i think this was his first time at the course yeah so it kind of caught him uh kind of it, it was it was weird because he weird. wanted to walk and the starter told him he couldn't he could he had to ride so i'm him. only thinking like the only thing i'm thinking is it was this is this not it comes into my mind first before i blew up everything's going through my mind i said is it because um I'm not sitting it, with this dude no, I'm thinking, I'm thinking though before that, I'm thinking like real quick. I'm like, is it because maybe it's one of those courses that's like from like hole to hole? Um, it's really like spread out. You know what I mean? I thought maybe that's why they force you to ride. Okay. But no, but no, it wasn't like that at all. Right? I mean, no, we couldn't I, figure out a reason the whole I, round. We I could not the, figure out. The starter just wanted to put them on. So car. now we could go to my blow up, Mikey. Go ahead. <laughs> Mikey, so all of a sudden, Mike. I'm already all set up. I'm on vacation. I do my thing. I smoke a lot. I smoke. Uh, I can't do this. I can't do this. I don't. Uh, I, I, I'm on vacation. That's I, I Brad, 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 you get in with me. <laughs> Brad, you're riding with him. Yup. <laughs> no, that's what it was. Mikey, you get back in with me. Back old school. Back, me and Mikey back to partners. <laughs> Uh, so just keep funny, the smoking dude. stuff out and, and, and Brad. I know Mr. we're missing a ton of stuff too. I wish Brad was here to to to, to spec in on it. Bro. Oh my god, uh, that was but so funny. it was really good, dude. <laughs> but, I blew up. I blew up. I was so mad. It was the start of the vacation, and, and uh, <laughs> you, you did. You had a meltdown. So, anyways ended up being it was a temper tantrum temper tantrum and but ended up being like one of the coolest coolest dudes one of the coolest dudes we've ever been paired up with absolutely i gotta give uh let's bring up the rob um (laughs) clip real quick of uh come on (laughs) instagram page Oh God, I'm gonna take that clip. Uh, oh God, I can't wait to, for my people to see Rob. That is so I wish funny. I had Rob's like information somehow. Uh, I don't. Some way, some way, get a hold of him. <sighs> I have people. I have golfers in my phone that like I will never even. He care never to talk. made it to your phone, no, dude. <laughs> I don't think no. he ever made it to your no. phone, dude. He didn't. We had such a good time. <laughs> so I ended up. Um, Paired up with this dude. He was like seven foot eleven. Uh, he was. Dude. He used he, pencils he, for tees. He used number two pencils for fucking tees, dude. They were huge. Uh, uh, I still have a Rob T in my bag that I keep as a memory. <laughs> Yo, uh, I've never seen tees like that. Uh, you grab dude, it all the time and mistake it for a pencil, dude. <laughs> <laughs> thing huge. Dude, smash though. He smashed the ball, dude absolutely ripped it um (laughs) so that was a fun trip bro absolutely that was a really good memory our cape cod trips are fucking killer i'm looking at this phone i'm looking at the phone to go read the um uh, our cape cod golf guys reviews on bayberry hills and i'm looking at this lombardi putter again this custom putter with um the uncle sam logo and it's just so dope it's butter so dope. so let me go read my boys over there we're getting we're letting things get away from this us on this episode it's a friday night um my boys over there at 52 sin sundays are literally waiting on me right now um so uh let me go read cape cod uh golf guys reviews on bayberry hills just after this short break 
His bags are packed. He's got his airplane tickets. Bring him to the airport. Send him home. Happy, the ball itself has its own energy, or life force, if you will. Its natural environment is in the hole. So why don't you send him home? His bags are packed. He's got his airplane. All right, we are back after that short intermission. Um, I have the Cape Cod Golf Guys review up right now. But, Mikey, uh, before we get into this, I had no idea that it was uh, when we got there. I had no idea that it was um, 27 holes. The 18, there was the 18 we played, which is their main 18, but they have like an executive nine hole links course that looks amazing that we should play um but anyways the cape cod golf guys they give um they give separate reviews for the courses obviously right um so uh, i'm gonna review i'm gonna read the review that we played on the red i think it's called the um yeah it's the red and white course So here we go. Cape Cod Golf Guys gave the design a par. Quintessential Cape Cod Fairway Pines. Flat, mostly open, major tree removal, few years back, still leaves tons of pines, but makes the course much more playable. This review is of the red-white course. There's the option to play the various combinations of the red-white, white-blue, Red, blue, and um, like I said, they have the separate. Uh, they have the separate nine. That's the uh, total different ball game. It literally, if you go watch the original review, <laughs> what are you doing behind me? <laughs> <laughs> this is the T-shirt your daughter gave me. <laughs> I'm literally crying right now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> tell them what it is, the listeners. <laughs> it's one of those Ask shirts me about my disguise. Ask my me ninja about my disguise. disguise. Oh my god! And then uh, inside out, it's got Mikey. Uh, it's got a ninja guy that he throws on his disguise. Yeah, it's pretty funny. And as soon as I showed Maya gave me that, I showed Maya a video on on the Instagram of you know. It was there probably them trying to sell the shirts, obviously. <laughs> and uh, Maya said, "We got to get Mikey that. That'd be, that'd be perfect for Mikey." So I said, "As long as he uh, he does it for us, I'll get it for him." And he did right right away. It was really funny. So all right, we're getting letting this, this episode get away from us again, <laughs> Mikey. So back to the Cape Cod Golf Guys design. They gave a par. I just gave them the read playability. They gave a birdie. The tree renovation vastly improved the playability. Instead of the tree areas being death traps, I remember that. The pine needles beds make finding your ball um, much easier, although punch out will be required. I do remember um, playing in the pines a lot. Yep. I I remember that one thing about the course. So, Um, but the playability, they gave a birdie. which is a definitely a good score. Um, and then the views, uh, which a lot of people really look for when they come to Cape Cod and play golf. Um, they want to be on the beach, but they gave a uh, par. Uh, the large uh, geographic footprint creates some nice viewscapes, but you are basically looking at pine trees everywhere. So that's where they get the par. I'm surprised they didn't get a bogey on that. Um, there wasn't really much yeah to see beautiful golf course yeah it was like taken I mean, care of well, well take take care care. Of. i remember the greens of it were just rolling pure and i remember just saying like this the starter was a kind of i a, remember finding errant shots and still being able to play it out yeah and the um the uh starter i remember just saying to myself why did the starter have to be such a jerk this course is so amazing it did put a sour taste in your mouth for about three holes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised Cape Cod Golf Guys doesn't give a review on the starter. 
dude, they got a tough job. The starters. Yeah. Sometimes they're, they're trying, miserable by the time they get to they're us. Trying to get people out there as much as possible. And, and people like, aren't there ready. They're looking at this T sheet all stressed just, out. People right. don't show up. Mike, shut up. Back to the back to uh, Cape Cod <laughs> golf guys. Uh, we're getting the, the vibe. They uh, over there at um, well, here we go. This is the, it's kind of the vibe. This is where the vibe comes into play over at uh, uh, Bay Bridge Hills. They gave a par, very professional, well run course. Sometimes staff can come off as too serious and professional for a vacation land playground. There you go. That's exactly it. Bingo! They nailed it right there. <laughs> how, how do they give a par? They that? still gave not it a, a bogey. Par, dude. Probably because not uh, a fucking double else, bogey. Everybody else makes up for it. All right. Okay. You, you know. Okay. I love reading these guys' reviews and then thinking about like how we played and the review because especially sometimes I we read courses that we haven't played um, as a Cape Cod course of the week. Right. So but it's sometimes empty, a course that we've it's, played it's and it's an fun. Empty, it's an empty read. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Exactly. This one's fun. So condition. This should be an eagle. They gave a birdie in my eyes. So condition, they gave a birdie. Mostly lush greens, fairways. Uh, I'm sorry. Mostly lush greens and fairways. Bunkers were inconsistent. Some had sand and some were rock hard. Greens, good speed, maybe a touch slow, but very true. Um, they gave overall a birdie. I don't really remember the sand traps, Mikey. Must not have been in them that much. I don't remember. Doesn't either. remember. I do, I do I, remember I, being in the pines all I'll the time. To, I'll have to look at Let's a couple see. pictures. See if we were actually the well. There is the video of um Scrounge punching out. He's always in the in the beach. Yeah. Um, in that video of the uh, reed. That's why he's so good at getting out. But uh, so I don't. I'll have to look at that and see what they were um really talking about there. But overall, they gave the condition uh birdie, which is a good score, obviously. Um, and Mikey's favorite, nineteenth. 19th oh they gave a birdie get it in you there's a small um patio overlooking the putting green which is really cool um an 18th hole with food and beverage service throughout the round uh they and uh they are we don't really go into it much they gave the logo an eagle which is pretty cool and uh memorability they give uh birdie uh, overall bayberry bayberry Red and white is all about solid of Cape Cod course. Or, or I'm sorry. Overall, Bayberry red white is about as solid as a Cape Cod Cape, Cape Cod course. See, doing these reads sometimes is tough, man. Fucking sometimes tamarack. <laughs> overall, Bayberry red white is about as solid of a Cape course That's as a we've kiss, seen. Kiss. <laughs> Karnuska whiskey? Karn Karnuski? Karnuski. <laughs> Raj. Raj, you there? Raj. Hello. Raj. Oh my god, dude. I can't believe we still have um we're only halfway through this episode right now. <laughs> right. <laughs> um and overall they gave Bayberry Hills an amazing score. Let's go to a short intermission, and we really will have our boys from 52 Sundays. <laughs> they're getting here. <laughs> I promise. It's going to take 52 Sundays, but they're uh, getting here. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I have you here, Mikey. <laughs> that is why I have you here, Mikey. All right, we'll be back after this short intermission. <laughs> zero edits on this one we are going right to the drop uh we are back after that short intermission with our boys from 52 sundays what is up go <laughs> 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 so i totally forgot to send them the link hold on all right thank you for listening to the upstate 
Golf Guys podcast. We always appreciate you guys uh, tuning in. We are actually back with our boys over there uh, in California. 52 Sundays. We have Hector and Carlos with us. What's up, boys? What's up, guys? Oh, not much, not much. Um, first off, I appreciate you guys for coming on. Uh, you guys, when you hear this episode, you're going to laugh. You are really, um, you're uh, going to be enjoying uh, something special. I promise you. I'm not going to ruin it for you. <laughs> it's been a great episode so far. I really appreciate you guys taking the time and coming on. Um, you'll hear, like I said early on um, to our listeners, we kind of linked up a couple months ago through Roger um, and through Legends. But I want you to tell us, uh, in your own words, tell us a little bit about uh, your company and what you're all about, Carlos. Why don't you go ahead? Yeah, uh, really, um, it all started, you know, we're talking about Mikey, about the, the day Sunday. You know, this, those most people golf on Saturdays, you know, all throughout the week. But, you know, me in particular, I golf on Sundays. So um, <clears throat> I started with really – just family and friends getting me out there in the first place, you know, um, then, you know, along, just like everybody else, everyone gets hooked on this game, uh, the shit talking, the camaraderie, everything. Right. So pretty much I've been playing on about just a little bit over two years and then, um, just really got into the apparel stuff. Right. It's, it's, it's not just a golf game, but sometimes you gotta go out there looking fresh. So, uh, kind of just figured, Hey, I'm going to, we're going to start something with, uh, with Hector. I've known Hector for a few years. He's a very close friend of mine. Um, he's the brains of the company. He's a pretty smart guy. Um, so we ended up, you know, thinking about a name. We came across 52 Sundays and then really just diving into this, right? Not knowing anything um, other than just the support and family of friends. And, and we just fell in love with it, man. So obviously there's a lot of challenges, uh, but it's all about golfing on Sundays on the weekends, having a good time, bullshitting with the boys, um, and just having a good time, man. And then going home to the family, right? After, uh, exactly. Yeah, barbecuing or, or taking a nap, depending on what yeah. type of uh, <laughs> thing it is, man. So, <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's where it started. And then we, me and Hector just kind of just been working at it. We've been uh, fortunate enough to link up with a lot of people that have been helping us out um giving us pointers and then just growing along the way right so roger's one of them uh you guys of course again appreciate the 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 invitation um legends golf course uh custom six out of uh, uh california over here guy does some pretty dope cu uh, customizations um just a lot of people man this, this is a long list so if i forget you i'm sorry but you know <laughs> it's just a big long list so yeah we just got into it been loving it ever since and we're just pushing yeah all right so you guys remind me a little bit about uh like mikey and myself uh you know if you've been friends for a long time you, you said that right how long yeah. how long have you been friends yeah. for we, we know each other a little going on a little over five years now um, okay we, yeah so all right so yeah. not so it's, it's a little fresher than mikey and mikey and i go way back we go back uh we met probably in the late 90s 20, no 20 years ago over 20 years ago dude okay. come on Come on, COVID was COVID was uh, six years al alone, man. Okay, we went so through COVID. It was about thirty. It was about at 30 least years thirty ago. years, dude. Yeah. Um, best oh friends. God. We go, but uh, Mikey is the uh, he's the. Do you guys ever want to stab each other in the neck once in a while? Yeah, oh, oh, I, dude, I want to punch <laughs> this guy sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm driving home and he's telling me something. each other with the clubs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, heck, all right, you're the brains. Uh, he, he said that. Why don't you tell me a little bit about uh, this Legends thing and uh, give the big announcement about Legends? You guys are the yeah. Official. So, you know, right. as as Carlos and I were, you know, just reaching out, uh, trying to partner with people. Um, looking at to see what would be the best move for us to make. Um, we came across Mike from Legends and from Roger. Uh, from there, we ended up just kind of getting along, you know, reaching out to him. We, we send them a gift. A um, few weeks later, they, they presented an opportunity to us uh, as they're partnering, right, with their new podcast as well. So shout out to them. And yep. um, with that said, they, they Carlos and I kind of worked out a plan and say, hey, well, why don't we, you know, sh see what we can do with them? So from there, we kind of just 
got in conversations with them and said, hey, we're, we're, we're looking to grow. We're looking to do partner with uh, good people. And from there, we went into what everybody, you know, it's, it's coming and it's going to be big and it's going to be, a, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a good partnership between Legends and 52 Sundays. And we hope to knock it out of the park and, you know, stay tuned. There's going to be a lot of things coming, a lot of exciting things. And, you know, it's just I don't want to give out too much, right, because it's still yeah. in the works. But uh, it is definitely something that Carlos and I are super excited about uh, to be able to partner with someone. I think they're at, what, 216 members now? 216, I think it was today. Yeah. So it, it's, it's uh, again, it's new to Carlos and I, but at the same time, we're, we're, we're eager to just jump on and learn and, and continue to grow and partner with people that, that you know, are going to be there for the long run, too. So we're, right. we're just, it's not something that we're just looking to jump in and jump out. And yeah. not, it's, 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 it's something we I enjoy. Mean, it's amazing. Like, we're all working at this thing together. And um, yeah. we're all kind of small. We all just started. Um, and it's it's we all have our own little um, I was telling Roger this the other day. I said we kind of have our own circle uh, between like the Legends crews. Uh, we now have like Lombardi golf. Uh, I'm sure you guys have been seeing the putters like the guy's a madman sending his putters his out. Yeah. Um, we have uh, like the custom. We have Omar over at Custom Rag. Uh, we have and it's just all from this podcasting thing and networking. And we have such a great great foundation of a great great group of people that were all working together um all like-minded um trying to just kind of the game we love man it's it's the golf is the game we all love and we're just trying to grow it together it's amazing i love it and the cool yeah. the cool thing about it is is it doesn't matter where we're located you know people might think it's locally but you guys are across the country and, right. and, and we're working together. So I think that's a pretty cool thing to point out, you know, because it's not yeah. just locally, it's across the country. And and, and we were just there. I think we're uh, we're Two right years. across from yeah. uh, Manhattan at the yeah. Charter House. I don't know if you guys been there. Charter House? No. I've never there. I mean, I've been no. to Manhattan a hundred times, but not there. Okay. Uh, yeah, pretty cool city, New Jersey. We didn't get to go into the city, obviously, but uh, and New York, you know, but pretty cool. Yeah, you know, man. I was getting, I was giving uh, some people from New Jersey some shit because they get to pump. They they have people that pump their gas. Right. <laughs> you know, you know, right. you don't what's have the, that, man. What's the average? Like, what's the average uh, round go for at like the Muni courses out there your way? Not you know, nothing fancy. What's the average for a round? Uh, 50, 70 bucks. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah about fifty seventy. Yeah. Now okay. you're going into the 80s, 90s. It'd be something better, and then yeah, you know, yeah. And then we go. Yeah, we we have a couple places we like to go, like our Crump and Foxes. Um, there's a few like that are top shelf that when, me and Mikey like to, we call it the once a years. The you know when, yeah. when we hit a hundred bucks or more, it's uh, you know where things are tough. T times are tough for everybody, sure. and uh, you know um, we like to keep our. 125 for a round you think to yourself wow that could have been almost three rounds somewhere else <laughs> yeah. uh, i hear you that's the same thing we're having a conversation carlos today where i was like hey where are we going this sunday right 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 right, right. Um, he's awesome. coming for 150 bucks i was like yeah nah let's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so stick to the 50 60 buddy come on <laughs> <laughs> so you guys have some dope dope gear mikey was just actually scrolling through um your page uh what's your what's been just i know you guys are just getting the ball rolling what do you see um your hottest seller so far i mean what do you think well that's a good question uh yeah it's a great question i it, i think it varies between from our hats uh to the polos yeah. Actually, the gray polos have, have and then the eucalyptus polos that have been uh, lately have been kind of flying out. We actually we have seven sales today. So shout out to all our customers. Thank you for that. Uh, but yeah, it's just back to back. So I think between the polos, between the gray, the eucalyptus and our hats, um, especially the fitment on the hats, it's, it's uh, we, we, we actually spend some time to to make sure we it's just a nice fitted hat, comfortable, breathable. So I know it's um that so far right now that's that's what we i know the towels we've sold a few but it's, yeah. it hasn't caught up I, to the point i feel like hats are um so we're not like we don't do any of our merch at all um the way you're you're doing that's your business yeah. i have merch to get our podcast name out um total different things i do a ton of giveaways give 
yeah. give my stuff. But I noticed our best. I do. I do try to sell them. I have a uh, you know website where I sell some of them, and I feel like the best things that go for me is hats. Just because if people are buying them for somebody else, they don't have to worry about asking for a size. They don't have to worry about. You know, oh, is this going to, you know, feel funny on you? Everybody knows what uh, every golfer anyways knows a uh, trucker hat or a snap hat or you know how it fits or how it feels. You don't have to worry about if you're buying it as a gift for somebody. I just feel like hats are like have overall been um, the best for us as sales. Yeah, hats are, uh, yeah. Hats are great. Hats are great. You know? Accessories in general. And the easiest, right? You can't go wrong yeah. with it. So. <laughs> yeah, no. And the sizes, I mean, like. You could make up 150, 200 hats for an event or something where you don't have to ask about sizes at all. You just make, make hats and that's it. That's done. Yeah. Right? yeah. You absolutely have a point on that because the sizes, you know, have to, that's another thing. You know, you might order mediums and larges and people would want the 3X, 2X. Yeah, something specific. Medium, exactly. You know? like small guys. <laughs> all right. So, and that's the thing. And I told Mikey this. Like, I do a lot of stuff just on order. Like, if somebody does need it. So, I have, like, a company that I will order my um, clothing from. And then I have an embroidery guy that I bring it to, a local guy. I, like, love supporting small business. Shout out um, Capital Region Embroidery. Um, Jeremy over there in Cohoes, if anybody is local, that's, yeah, he does great, great embroidery work. So he's just very convenient for us. I literally will order um, my clothing from a cheap, cheap company overseas. And, you know, it might be Timu, it might not. It might not be. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, and then I just bring this. It's, it's so simple the way I do it. Um, but anyways, I'm letting this get away from me. Hats are just so much easier um, because I don't have to worry about ordering. Yeah. Like I, do, I agree with you. It's actually the easiest thing to order. Peace of mind is real quick. Everything else. 110%, dude. 110%. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So let's go away from like the clothing um, and let's just talk a little golf. Let's talk a little golf, boys. All right. um, what, what? is your car carlos what is your favorite club in your bag that you use right now oh mine's gonna be the seven iron man yeah seven iron for sure All yeah. yeah just just you could do so many things with that club bump and run smack it yeah you know, it's you it's more consistent too at least in my for me right Mike, uh, I, knew I, like, <laughs> I, knew I, like, I knew i like this guy right from the get-go <laughs> yeah. at least for me man so uh, say, my favorite club in my bag is my seven iron brother if you listen yeah. to previous episodes, I actually literally play holes to be at my uh, 165, 160, 150, depending on if I choke. I'll choke up a little bit more uh, just to get that shorter distance. You yeah. know, it's, yeah. it's uh, so it's I love my seven iron, brother. And I yeah, agree with if you. It's a, if it's a blue flag, large green, <laughs> I'm doing a little bump and run. Yeah, I, I hear you, man. Hector, what? What's your favorite club, brother? No, for me, uh, I, I mentioned in Rogers' podcast, uh, the Puff. Um, I was, uh, I'm, I'm still new to it. You know, I'm only four months in now. Uh, still the driver. Uh, it's what I have the most practice with. So I'm, I'm still my driver's still there. Uh, I'm getting used to my irons now, so I'm, I'm doing a lot better. But as a knob, I'm still gonna stick to the driver. I have a good, good start game, but my short game sucks. Yeah. horrible so, so we can skip that part because <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot of our story man that's a lot of our story with the short game um carlos what kind of putter do you speaking of short game do you use a mallet putter or do you use um, i use a blade i have a like blade putter yeah okay you do see it's yeah. everybody has different feel and uh, feels yeah. I, it's I do want a mallet putter though i think i want to I, I tried out an odyssey I, I think it was an odyssey uh putter i believe it was i forgot what it was but i do want to upgrade for nice. Sure. So nice. hey, um, check out check out Lombardi over there. Seriously, yeah. Hook yeah. me up with this guy. Link me up. I will. I will. Putters, because we're both looking for putters. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually clip that right there, and I'm gonna tag Lombardi and and with you, and I'm gonna yeah. be you guys. All I'm right. Gonna be, I'm gonna be hooking you guys up with a couple putters, guys. I got you. Easy. We'll, we'll reach out to him for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. There you yeah. go. Look at that. 
yeah, yeah. And, and maybe you guys should work out some sort of collab for sure with uh you oh, guys. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's yeah, the kind yeah. Of guy, I'll link you up. He's the kind of guy that would he loves working with uh guys that are just starting. I mean, he's he's just starting himself really uh, at the at the scheme of things. He really is. Um but Putters are beautiful. He is somebody special, man. That Paulie over there at Lombardi. He really is. He's uh he's a cool dude. Uh loves the game just like us and he's fucking awesome. So all right. Let's uh let's go to another uh golf question. Let me think. Any so you're just starting the game, starting the game. Any hole in any hole in ones or near hole in ones to get guys? I've, I've had one close to a uh, close to a hole in one. Um I actually took a picture of it too, man. I went okay. over there. I was like, "Wow, that's pretty good." Yeah, but, uh, yeah. I haven't had a holding one for sure. Not yet. Hopefully, one day. That's you no. know, we all keep coming back. Hector, yeah. I think you haven't just get no, no holding one. Um, but I did have my first uh, par with Carlos. I think it was my second. Hey. Oh, no, no. Everybody was more excited. I was yeah. kind of like, "What's going on here?" <laughs> I love it. I love it. So it's this fun. Guy- Sorry, this guy. This guy was uh, in a hurry to try to putt the ball. I said, "Guy, wait for everybody to go. See where it's gonna break. Take your time. Relax. This is this not is a so fast good. game. Chill. You're about Actually, to. You're about to make your party. Milestone, bro. This is a milestone. <laughs> but it's funny. You hear these. So the reason I ask. I mean, listen. You hear these stories of guys just starting, and it's literally their first time out there. And um, they get lucky and they run one off there and they put it in the hole. You hear these crazy stories. Yeah. And meanwhile, uh, I've Two been... Two hole-in-ones and one round. Yeah, you just hear what crazy stories. Yeah. So yeah. I always I always like to ask, you know. Yeah. Um, I would have so, definitely punched him in the face if he got one of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> What's your favorite course out there on the West Coast that you guys play on the regular? So on the regular, ooh, uh... Well, for you, it's got to be Ashwood, bro. <laughs> That's your local home court. That's my local home court, but I have a, I have a, that has a special heart, uh, place in my heart. But down here, I think my favorite one so far, um, probably has to be Classic Club in in Palm Springs, in terms of the layout and how it looks. Um, a fun one is out in the Oceanside called the uh, Goat Hill. Like the hills, it's a like small little muni course, but it, it's a good course. Uh, but definitely, classic club out in Palm Springs is pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, and for me, I've been playing locally. Uh, it's called St. Dimas Canyon Golf Course. Um, it's 18 hole. It's a. I just like the layout. It's one of the nicer ones around here for a great price. So it's it's always good to go in the afternoon. You know, get good rates and it's pretty much empty. So we get to go out and then just practice and have some fun. So what it's all about brother that's really what it's all about um yeah. i love it you guys do it you, know, you do a ton of tournaments out there on the west coast like a lot of the scrambles and i take it you guys i i typically do scrambles with three other buddies um i haven't done any anytime soon we've been part of the tournaments you know we've been part of uh we just had a one out in um beaumont uh uh called tuckwit uh one of our um collaborators custom sticks ball hog and i believe dad golf actually threw a tournament out there so it was a pretty nice tournament that they threw it was called the ie golf golf classic so that was a pretty fun course just to be at and seeing everybody ball out we had some pretty good groups out there so it it was pretty fun awesome nice awesome um yeah we have a couple events coming up uh we love scrambles and our favorite one we we talked about a little bit earlier in this episode is uh my uncle passed away jesus going on again time flies man it's been going on seven years now but this will be the sixth sixth year uh consecutive year of uh the jpm marizio uh benefit um tournament uh great cause the money um all our money goes to a local kid graduating student at our small hometown high school that we all went to um my uncle went to especially and so the the um award their money is giving to a kid um every year in my uncle's name it's a really cool thing that we put together and uh maybe you guys can be a part of that and um get your merch out and yeah we could, we could return the favor um and give you guys a free sign and what we do especially with small small businesses i love pushing um small businesses we'll give you guys a free sign if you could give us a couple hats or whatever and um 
we we do a QR code. You said if you send us your logo, um, we'll put a logo on the sign, and we just we we appreciate everybody that whether they donate or give merch, however it works. Um, each year, this thing grows bigger and bigger, and with this podcast and the people I have on uh, my team now, it's going to be big. It's uh, at the end of it's uh, it was the end of September, but things you'll hear in this podcast that things uh, got screwed up, and it's now the first week in October. So we have time to yeah. plan, but we'll, yeah, we'll definitely be part definitely. of it. Um, yeah. you, if you guys want vendors out there, maybe me and Hector could fly out there and set All up. Right. Set up. I, I would. I am a hundred and ten percent on board. I mean, I would love for you to be there. I'd love for you to play, dude, and just at least ha- even hang yeah. out with us. Come out for a weekend. We have Saratoga Racetrack out here. Yeah, uh, it's good. We have a, lot, a lot of big things. So if you I guys know, are Saratoga Racetrack is going to be happening in October. If, no, if this, no, no. If if this in October, I think we can plan it out, and we'll get our asses over. Actually, there. you want to know yeah. something in October? What you'll have here in October that you don't see on the West Coast, dude? Is what? the foliage up here in upstate New York? Go Google foliage, the leaves, the leaves and the trees. Yeah. Uh, upstate New York in October. Just go look at it right now. Go, go, Hector. Do me a favor. Go do, get Can on your phone. Real quick. Yeah, I'm doing it right now. Leaf, leaf peep in the Adirondacks. Seriously. So, like, tell me the colors you see for our listeners that are out there on the West Coast. I think they're going to be booking a trip right after this, actually, to be honest. And they come hang out with oh, Rob. Wow. That's beautiful, man. Orange, yellow, green, yeah. purple. Yeah. You ever see colors like that out there in the West Coast? Oh, I mean, I, listen, I, West Coast is beautiful. I, uh, San yeah, yeah. Diego, you guys have some special um, places out there in California for sure. But nothing but, like this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is nice, man. You have some nice. All we see is buildings now. <laughs> so what we'll do, if you really truthfully want to do that, if you really want to, we'll we'll talk something out, and um, you guys could be a hundred percent business the day of the tournament. Uh, but I would like to like treat you guys or something to like a round if you came out for a week or something. We'll figure something yeah, out. I, I but, think it's far yeah. enough for us to plan right, and I think yeah. we can do it. Yeah, all right. It wouldn't be a problem. Yeah. Oh yeah, awesome, awesome man. Let's set it up, man. I love it. That's that's what this thing is all about for us, bro. I don't care if I don't make a penny, like an actual paycheck. If I could get some free merch and meet some yeah. awesome people along the way, yeah. dude, and help grow businesses, let's do it. It's done. Yeah, of- definitely. We'll we'll make sure after the podcast, you know, we'll send it, we'll start sending get some to prepare, send it over to you guys, and then. Uh- and I think you guys, I think you guys would have a ton of fun hanging out with us, with Raj, and uh, out here on the East Coast and upstate New York for sure, guys. Oh yeah, oh, we'll play golf. We, uh, so right we, on. Right. Right. we play some uh, golf. I'm talking shit, and I'm gonna get yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, that said, do you guys uh, tell people where they can find Hector? You're the brains. Tell everybody where they could find our listeners. All right, you guys can find us on on social media on Instagram at Fifty Two Sundays, um, and then at our website at Fifty Two Sundays dot co. Okay. Awesome. Man. Dot, yeah, dot co, yeah, not com, dot co, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's <laughs> funny. It's like we got it's there's so many different uh things now, right? Yeah, it's crazy. But um, really, really, really appreciate you guys coming on and taking the time and just hanging out with us. Uh, like I said, that's what this is all about. We're gonna grow this thing together, grow the game we love together, grow uh your company together. Uh, I'll share, I'll share everything. Um, I see now that you know what I mean. Tag me tag upstate golf guys and then i'll reshare type deal um just get i only have i'm i'm just getting to two thousand followers now i'm gonna do a nice lombardi giveaway at two thousand so just started this thing in january guys so it's grown we're there growing you together you, you know, guys get in on that that lombardi putter giveaway hell yeah, hell yeah, yeah. definitely right <laughs> maybe we'll work out maybe there you go we'll, we'll maybe we'll bring on uh i love it we'll bring 52 sundays in on the giveaway as well it's done we're gonna bring yeah. them on and uh, sh- you know, like, follow type deal type giveaway, and uh, it's gonna be a nice one at two thousand. There you yeah. go, for sure. Awesome, man. Push that awesome. fifty-two. Awesome. awesome. All right. Well, I always close episodes out with my guests. So, with that said, I really appreciate everybody to tuning in to another episode of the Upstate Golf Guys podcast. Tonight was truly a special one for you listeners uh being changed a million times like i always i'm a believer things are um meant to um things happen for a reason 
And tonight I met some pretty cool people. I'm pushing this thing to a Friday. Had a ton of fun. I have a few in me. Cheers to y'all. And um, I appreciate all the support. And we'll see you guys next week to another episode of the Upstate Golf Guys podcast. 518 to the Cape. <laughs> All right, I got to uh, end the recording. There we go. That's good.